In this project, what you're going to do is you're going to do a monochromatic painting. You're going to pick one color, blue, green, purple. You could even try red. But I think blue, green, and purple are going to work the best. And what's going to happen is you're going to take white and that color and use the color as if it were black. And I'm going to show you how to do this painting in this project. The first thing you're going to do is pick out which apples you want to do. There's five different pictures. And then you're going to take this paper, which is 9 inches by 12 inches, and you're going to draw it out. And that's what I'll do right now. Now that I have it drawn out, I'm going to look at the shades here and figure out what's a 10. The background looks like it's pretty dark. And so I'm going to make that the darkest, and this edge here is going to be pretty dark in here. But you can see that I've got it drawn out, and I'm going to use a color and white. This is going to be monochromatic, but no black in this one. So what's going to happen is you're going to make it like it's black and white, but the color is your black, or the dark. And I'm going to use blue, and I'm going to use white. I'm going to put them on my palette. And the way I'm going to work on it is I'm going to work with the background, and then kind of roughing it in here. I'm going to use water to kind of just paint it over really quick and then come over top of it um, with the more solid colors later on. Background, mid-ground, foreground, and the details last. Here's the picture. Now you can see what I did. I used a lot of water and I just roughed it out. I just kind of used it like watercolor. Put my background in here, kind of got the mid-ground, the apples kind of roughed out. And the paper's still a little wet, so I'm going to add a little bit more water, well, the paint now with just a little bit of water and start going over it and darkening it in. Now I've done the background, the mid-ground, and I've got those done. You can see this here, and I went over the background probably two or three times just to get that solid blue, and I have been blending right on here. It blends really nicely. You put white down, then blue, and they mix really nicely on the paper. And the last thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> well, next to the last thing, I'm going to come in and finish this apple up, then I'm going to finish this apple up here. So let's work on this apple now. So I finished this apple up here, and I've got this done here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to come in and finish it up because I've worked from the background to the mid-ground 
to this closer mid-ground. Now I'm going to do the foreground and the details here last. Here's the final painting. I came back in and did this apple last. Put the details in from shadows to highlights. And as we go back over it, what I did is I went over it, the painting to begin with, with almost like a watercolor where I added water to the acrylics and just kind of blocked it all out so you could kind of see roughly what's going on. Then I came back in and did the background, did the mid-ground, did this apple, then this apple. And so that's the way you work from back to forward.